the maximum strength sits in the center. And as the field reduces in the strength, at a point of the strength of the matter, it becomes the ring we see. And then, further on, the field carries on, it doesn't finish here. And it goes below sub-matter. And it's still in that level, beyond it, there is a life which exists in its own strength. As much as there is life, as you go to the center. To get to the center, absolute center, is one of the impossibilities for man. Because as much as there is a gravitational field in that point, there is magnetical or repulsion as well. And depends how much you can transfer your fields to be able to get from one to another or transfer one to another one. A plasma to us is the totality of from the center to the point of the physical manifestation. And then the fields themselves have a property of balancing or attracting or repulsion. What this means is these rings is like infinity. They receive as much as they give in the three-dimensional, as much as coming out as going in. In fact, the magnet is very much like this. And it rotates in, in dimension within the structure. And the totality creates another field for itself. But at the same time, if the field strength is not there, you'll find out they find a gap, they find a distance where they can be with each other. And in so many ways, this is the simple way you can explain the, the work of a plasma. What comes out of this side has to go underneath and come into it. That from what comes out of it, this side, which goes back in there. And it's like a traffic jam. And you cannot get more than a certain number of fields to, and for the two magnets to be able to allow the fields to go from one to another, they need a specific gap. This specific gap, you see, if I move, the other one moves. This gap between the two is the gap which allows enough fields to be lost to the environment and absorbed from the environment that can come through the back of the other one to come up. So, in fact, what it is, what goes through the north has to come out of the south. And if north cannot allow more than a certain amount to come out, it cannot receive and it cannot accept. So, it looks for a point that enough fields are lost in the environment that the balance can go inside. And that's the distance of the separation of the magnets. This is called gravitational magnetic positioning. Because gravity, as they gravitate towards each other, magnetical as much as they repulse. And this is the distance. And then when you go into the space technology, you increase, you have the possibility to increase your gap or decrease it, and then you create a position.